Hello here, welcome to another video. Today we're going to be looking over Dead Man Armageddon. Guys, this launched like 20 days ago, 10, 15 days ago. Guys, we're going to look at it, check it out, <clears throat> see what it's all about because I liked Last Dead Man, guys. I thought it was awesome. So let, let's check it out, guys, because I, I grinded that out even though my wrist was in so much pain, guys. I grinded it out. We made content with it. You know, so let's check it out, squad. Uh, so, oh, uh, so it's, it feels like they added updates here, right? Okay, okay. Let's let's start from the top. Concerns were raised about players about mega rare kits being available. FD underscore Zach just subscribed. FD underscore Zach, thank you for the sub. Uh, so we're they're removing those cheap upgrades such as the the, the dragon claws and those those freaking cheap freaking what, they're like corrupted dragon claws guys. If anyone remembers those, those are pretty overpowered, like, cheap rebuild items that they're going to actually remove here. So, guys, let's see. We'll move the Dragon Claws kit. We'll move the Mega Rare, uh, Dark Blue Volatile, Void Waker, and... So, they're removing the, the corrupted Void Waker here, guys. <laughs> oh, <laughs> they rem OMG, guys. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, squad. They're actually removing the corrupted Void Waker here, guys. So that, that could be a huge plus for us as a peak air, guys. <clears throat> Hold on, let's uh, switch back to old school RuneScape here, guys. Okay. Next we have... Some of you had questions around exactly how cosmetic the rewards would be in terms of points. Cosmetic rewards, what are they referring to, guys? I don't know exactly what that means. We'll be looking to take a similar balancing approach to leagues for these, where top end players are likely to be able to buy everything available to them while other players do it at the time. Picking up a handful of them, but might miss out on one or two, just like league rewards. Uh, I don't know what they're talking about with cosmetic rewards. Do they have like a like something? I don't know. Sounds cool though. Desert Treasure 2 bosses in their drop rates. Let's see. In the initial blog. We said we want to include boosting rates for the bosses. That was included in error. That's a mistake on our men. Meant that these drops were actually having the boosted modifiers applied to it during the Dead Man Apocalypse. Okay, I'm not a PVMer. I don't know what they're talking about. Let me let me read it without actually just just reading it, guys. Let me. Uh, I just could, does not compute. Haven't tried uh, the Death Chart 2. There's confusion on the point regarding XP gains and save zones. Many players point out that XP is already obtainable in save zones. The blog should have read in instances rather than in save zones. Save zones. So they want to leave XP disabled. So you're going to have to train in uh, the non-safe zones, guys. So For context, Dead Melon Apocalypse saw the Warriors Guild made a safe zone, which resulted in more players. But I don't know. Yeah, everybody was training at the Cyclopses, guys. There was never a free world. Everybody could max out there, guys. It was kind of cool, really. <clears throat> Thank <laughs> you. 
But it was kind of hard to get a defender, guys. Not gonna lie. Some players felt that the number of comment bracket worlds is too high and spreads the players out too much. All these questions had like the eagle and opposite, like. You know, it's response, like feelings, you know, like. I'm sure everybody has like a, you know, kind of equal <laughs> reaction to the. What they're saying here, guys, like, you know. So they're reducing the number of bracket worlds. Oh, gosh. Okay. Let's go grab some water here. I'm sorry, what's this change log? Is it. Is this ch the change log part of it? The sickle of the feral fighter will be disabled. That was actually an overpowered thing, though. Um, let's see, PJ timer. Uh, it was fun. It was fun to get clues with that. I'm sure it was, but uh, I didn't get any that many. I, I got I got some clues. I mean, I didn't really make make PK videos with it, but we'll view the next room so it's easier piece of content. Okay, okay. Okay, the sigil of freedom is proposed to like remove your freeze on command. And they're actually confirming to remove it. <clears throat> and they won't be including the 20 defense variants uh, armor. Kind of a bummer. I'm not, I don't even remember if they had that in the last one. I don't think they did, did they? I, think that's, I just don't remember, guys. I, don't, I didn't play that many Dead Mans, guys, so. Alright. But I'm just super, super stoked for this, guys. It seems to be, like, somewhat similar to the last Dead Man. But they, they, well, I guess we gotta wait for the next poll log here. These are the cosmetic rewards, though. Do these go in POHs or? Twenty-five K prize pool. That's quite a lot. So, are they gonna do a final? Okay, they're gonna do a last player live, but not sure if it's in um multi-combat or not. I'm sure the initial part will be in multi-combat. Guys, I want to read this off stream first, not gonna lie. Glided over the... what the heck? I like this comes up the side of it. <laughs> okay, so they're gonna have the three sigil system from like the last two or three or four dead mans. So that's good. One sigil onslaught though. Increases the number of targets, chin choppers, and multi targets. Okay, okay, that's cool. All these cool skilling sigils that I just never really, really used, except like the agility one or whatever, bros. <clears throat> but look at all these changes to the existing sigils, guys. They're actually changing every single sigil. They're, they're not keeping anything old school here, guys. They're, they're, they're straight up. Like, <laughs> this is like almost every sigil they're changing, right? <clears throat> Let's see. Ruthless Ranger, damage increase. Messy Mage, damage increase. Oh my goodness. Chin 
chance to double prayer point. Like I think they're, I can't tell if they're buffing everything or making it. Seems like they're buffing everything. Except that, except that one. Cooldown increased on last recall. Oh, here, here's some new ones, guys. Sigil of Rampart. Increases your stab slash crush and range defense by 100. Does not stack with sig Sigil of Fortification. So that's like a GFS and a half. Automatically repocket, pickpocket, and PC until you're otherwise unable to do so. That's actually really correct. Apparently it was in leagues for or something similar. Grants agility XP while running. Oh snap. So guys if you don't know Dan Matt, it's gonna be very easy to make your an account a max out account, guys. It's like increased boosted XP rates on everything, guys. You can attack any anybody almost anywhere, and if you attack somebody and finish them off, you can get like Almost everything in their bank, like 70% of their bank. I'm not sure if they changed it. It was 70% last time because it used to be 100%. You got like the most expensive 15 items, but they changed it to 70% because it was kind of like relentless, which I do agree. <clears throat> so the finale, guys. Every dead, good dead man culminates in an epic finale. In the past, these momentous events have been hindered by nefarious actors and technical problems. <laughs> Which is why we made uh, drastic changes to ensure that Dead Man Apocalypse's finale went off without a hitch. Unfortunately, many of you watching at home felt that the viewing experience for our finale livestream left you wanting more. We missed out on the on huge wars between teams. Saw teams hiding. From each, uh, uh, each other across different worlds and ultimately saw things conclude a little sooner. Oh yeah, that... They did not, uh... want to battle each other. Well, that, that's the thing when you have uh, just one world, or just a bunch of worlds, because they don't really have it on one world now, because of just like... I don't know. The game breaks or something. Uh, the, the, everyone's taking it out. Everyone, they they DDoS if it's just on one world. So. The initial the initial fog radius and speed which the fog closes it will be slightly increased in the early stages. This should speed up the start of the finale and condense players more quickly to keep things moving. Okay, okay. <laughs> so yeah, I, because of the World 45 transfer, guys, we're going to actually have to do it on a different account than our previous account, but that's fine. Then we did last season. Guys, I'll look over this more. I think we might make another video. <clears throat> this is a lot of text, guys. It's like a 30-minute read. But I'm very interested, guys. I will be playing the Deadman mode when it launches. Uh, let's see exactly. I think it launches in July, guys. So, that, like, literally next month. Guys. So, this will be good for me because my viewer count will be up. So, hey, I'm a little nervous. I'm a little excited. We'll be playing Deadman mode when it launches July 19th. Thank, thank you so much for watching, guys. We might upload a video... Again, talking about this, we might not. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much.